Hi, boys and girls, welcome back uh, to themedcenter.com. So this is a continuing series of uh, free videos, short bite-sized videos that I talk that we at the Med Center, we talk about things that are uh, related to our website. Okay, uh, for the whole series of courses, on maths, physics, accounting, etc. please go to our website, themathcenter.com. Okay, do give us a like and share before I forget. I always forget that. So I think in the last couple of series, uh, I've been doing some videos on maths, at maths, accounting, at Excel and Cambridge. Uh, and I, I think quite a few are on past year exam questions. So um, before I forget, we ha we ha we're having a series of promos, very special promos for a very short time the month of April, it'll be ending soon. So please check us out. Okay, we're offering very, very special e-video courses with exam solutions, etc., all packed and all at uh, discounted prices. Please check us out. So now, um, so in this particular video, I'd like to talk about uh, probability. Probability is a subject that is very peculiar. You either know it or you don't, and you please do not write ridiculous answers. Now, uh, we've been teaching maths for a long, long time, and even now, not my students, because I will really freak out if they are my students, but uh, we get uh, students who uh, we see online, you know, and some of them are horrifying. I mean, the answers to give are horrifying. They, some of them are in tertiary studies in university. Now, remember this probability at the best, when it's 100% for sure, is only one. One is actually one over one, okay? So probability, which is 50%, is written as half, okay, or 0 0.25. You cannot, I repeat, cannot, sorry, cannot say your probability is more than one. Impossible. You cannot say, oh, I'm 110% sure. There's no such thing. Just say 100% sure, okay? I say this because uh, over the years of teaching probability, we get a lot of requests for people wanting to do permutations, combinations, and probability, and we find that it's a little bit too late in the day. So learn it from the start. So in this particular video, I like to talk about uh, probability, okay? I'm starting with probability at the lower level, at the IG maths level, okay? So I like to do, do a couple of simple questions. For the full course on our probability, please do check us out. Check out our courses on the website, okay? We have plenty of that, IG maths, etc. Now I chose a book here, which is simple. This is one of the one of my revision books that I have used. is a revision guide. Uh, this is by Collins. Pretty good guidebook. Okay, you can see it. Okay, not bad. Uh, some of the questions here. So I like to pick a couple of questions. Okay, uh, from here, and I like to start. Okay, let's see. Now let's start a start some basic probability questions. Okay, I'll take this over maybe in the next two, three videos. So first question says, if you toss a coin, a coin is tossed 60 times. Now, if you toss a coin, you only get two outcomes, head or tails, right? Head or tail, right? So the chances, if the coin is not biased, then the probability of head is equivalent to the probability of tail. I mean, the chance of getting a head is half because there are only two outcomes, head or tail. So if the coin is not biased, not weighted towards head or not weighted towards tail, then uh, the probability of getting both are equal. So the chance of getting a head is half, the chance of getting a tail is half. So it says how many times would, now if you toss this coin 60 times, how many tails would you get? Okay, so very simple. It's just the probability of tail Per troll is half, right? So you have 60 times, so be half times 60. So you can you expect to get 30 times. That means in a sample of 60 trolls, okay? You expect to get 30 of that 60 trolls to be a tail, okay? That's pretty simple. Second one. Let's look at the second question. Okay, the probability that uh, Mia is late for school is 0 0.35. Probability of being late is 0 0.35. Okay, now there are 75 days in autumn. 
Okay, this is actually question five. How many times would you expect Mia to be late? The girl Mia, M-I-A. So probability of being late in the, out of the total of 75 days would be 0 0.35 times 75. And that would be, oh, sorry, 0 0.15. Probability of being late is 0 0.15. She is pretty uh, diligent. So 0 0.15 times 75, that would be 11 and a quarter. So you would say probably about 11 and a quarter, which you could say, well, uh, if the if they don't ask you to round up, just leave it 11.25 or 11 and a quarter. If you do, if you expect it to round down, then it'll be 11 times, okay? Next one. Ah, next question is pretty interesting. Louise is, dry, is a driving examiner, okay? She expects to pass about 60% of drivers. So the probability of passing your driving test, pass driving test, is very important. If you're in Australia, it's pretty hard to pass. You really have to study. So 0 0.6 uh, or 60%, 0 0.6 or 60% is the probability of passing. Therefore, the probability of failing would be what? Uh, 0.4 or 40%, okay? So now in one particular month, she has failed. Let me see, I need some space here. So in this, in a particular month, sorry. So in a particular month, in a month, so she has failed 64 drivers. So these 64 drivers uh, will represent, uh, will follow this probability of failing of 0.4 or 40%, okay? The question is, how many people took the test? How many took the test? How many took the test means 100% of the sample size or 100% of, that means that includes drivers who both pass and fail in that particular month. How many took the test? This actually is equivalent to 100%. Remember, it's the 60 plus 40, which is 100. You either pass or fail. You have not neither. So therefore, your working is very simple. It's just 100% over uh, 64 drivers. Wait, in a month, she failed. 64 drivers failed. Okay, so 100% over the percentage you fail is 40% times the number of drivers, 64 drivers. That will give you an answer, which is 160 in total. That means 160 took the test. And out of 160, pass and fail. Fail, 64. Therefore, pass will be 96 altogether, 160. Okay, very simple. So today is my first series on uh, probability. Catch me again. I'll see you next week in my next series on simple probability. Okay, so do follow this, all right? I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Bye.